Supper. Woo. It's a budget night again. It is. Welcome back for part two. Ten dollars. Actually, if I can do it in ten dollars. I don't know. We'll see. It's we'll gonna see. be close. It's gonna be close. It is gonna be close. We have a lot to do tonight, so we have to get started. Yes, yeah, Chef. You know, I have to say it was a nice, easy, relaxing Thursday. Yes. All I'm gonna be is a sous chef. <laughs> you had to do all the work this week. That's what you think. Yes. I'm there's a lot. Around. There's a lot for Sue to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing four four recipes yes, yes one more than i did yes. four for ten dollars uh remember the rules are salt pepper oil that kind of thing ketchup that stuff doesn't count um toward the total ketchup doesn't count, ketchup does not count. i don't know about ketchup that does okay. not count. Ketchup doesn't you, count. you could have put ketchup in your peach cobbler if you wanted to <laughs> because i yeah. wouldn't have said anything about it but we're going to start tonight with dessert because it's going to go into the refrigerator so um, I you know had, what Irma Bombeck said. What she said: always have dessert first. Think of all those women on the Titanic who skipped dessert. Oh, that's great! Yeah. A nice little morbid beginning to yeah. our show. I love Irma Bombeck. Okay, <laughs> let's get jump okay. right into dessert. All right, now remember we shopped at Aldi's. So shout um, out again to Aldi. Not everything I got is from Aldi's because my entree had to come from someplace else so I could get squeeze in my fork. Did I mention I'm doing four? Uh, I believe. <laughs> And I'm sure you'll mention it again. Yes, I will. Okay. All right. So we're starting. We're going to make orange parfait pot. Mm, yummy. Uh, I know orange is one of your favorites. I just found out 30 seconds ago that orange is one of your favorite things. But I would say you could get a different flavor of jello, right? Yes, because in my family growing up, we had pink stuff and yellow stuff yeah, and yeah. orange There's stuff. And it just depended yellow. on the color. Yeah. Or of what's, what's cheap? Right. Yeah. All right. So I got this pre-made uh, graham cracker crust at uh, all these, and you'll see how much it is at the end. And what I have here is one cup. It's the um, juice from the fruit cocktail that I've drained, and I made oh. put water in it to make it one cup. Okay. So I'm going to put it over okay. here. You can see and he's he's going to do some cooking. I'm going to do some. <laughs> that's what it's all about tonight, folks. Cooking. Singing and cooking. Yeah. So we're going to take our Jello. And we're going to dissolve the jello. I, I could have done that for you. You could have. I could have opened the box. Really? Well, why don't you stir it over here? I will stir. And when it's dissolved, you let me know. Yes, sir. Yes, chef. <laughs> yes, Sue. Yes, Sue. Uh, I'm Sue. You're, you're chef. You're Sue. That's right. I was a boy named Sue last week. That's right. All right. So when that gets dissolved, we're going to put another something in it. And then we have our can of fruit cocktail here and that's going to go into what barb is stirring right now did you get that at all i did get it at all Let's see how i did when on we did the when we do the numbers when we do the numbers that's right that's right so that's going to dissolve in there and i'm going to show you what the fourth ingredient is it's a four ingredient pie the fourth ingredient is two cups of vanilla ice cream well, now you have me. Yes, I thought so. That'll cut the sweetness on That'll the orange. That'll cut the sweetness. Okay, so I'm going to get a spoon so we can dump that in here. How do we do it? It's good. I just had some jello on the. It turns out. It's all dissolved? Yes. Then let's put our ice cream in it. Oh, it's going right Good. in the pot. Do you want to come around here so you can see it? Come on. Cameraman Chris Nichols is on the job. I let this sit out for about half an hour. Oh, here. Yeah, let me look. Thank you. <laughs> Careful. Thanks for giving Someone me a little crowded. Water. Oh, that's perfect, honey. All right. And now I guess I'm stirring. You're stirring. And we want that all dissolved. It's like an orange sherbet. Yes, it is. Is this how they make orange sherbet? Well, I don't know. Does anybody know how they make orange sherbet? I don't know. Send it in if you do. If you do, let us know. And while we're waiting for that dissolve, that opening number was from <gasps> a show about money issues. Money, you have, it's a privilege to pee because yeah. it costs money. That's right. What am I, I love this show. I like this show. <laughs> I like the music in this show. You're in town. You're in town. While I'm stirring, I have to keep 
Well, well they didn't have that from the very beginning. Uh, of course. Well, okay. Lynn helped me work on it years ago. Um, you know, it opened right after, it was in previews when 9 11 happened. Oh, really? And, um, you know, they didn't know if they were going to come back and what was going to happen. But then they ended up running for almost four years. Interesting little facts about the show it yes. won best book, best score, um, a couple other things. Hunter Foster, who played the lead, he didn't win a Tony, but his sister won that year. Who is his sister? His sister is Sutton Foster. Oh. And let's throw this question out. Sutton ended up beating Nancy Opal, local Kansas City Nancy yes. Opal, who was in um, your in town. It's, I still got a lump ice cream. And uh, Laura, Laura, Jennifer, Laura Thompson were both up for Best Actress, but Sutton beat them. Anybody know what show Sutton was in? It's kind of an easy one, I think. I think I'll know that. Uh, Jennifer okay. Laura Thompson. She just left a big Broadway musical on Broadway. She did. Just like Munson. Munson. You want to, does anybody know what show that is? I think we're dissolved. I think we're dissolved. Okay. I'm going to bring I'll throw that one out because we're new. That was Dear Evan Hansen. And I saw her in that. Okay. I'm going to turn it up. All right. So we're all dissolved. Can we look at our camera there? Mm. So they can see. Orange. Them. So it's kind of an orange, a thick orange jello. Okay. Sure. I'm gonna grab my. We need that. Yeah. Here to put it on. We're gonna put our fruit in. Just dump it right in there. Stir it in, and then we're just gonna pour it right into the mm. pie crust. And I kind of help the fruit come in first. Because if you don't, the fruit will go in last and you'll have all It'll the sherbet. splatter maybe too. Yeah. So we want to get, because it won't take all of it. You have another bowl you can put some in a bowl and do so some I on the side. Well, we'll yeah. we'll oh, that's right. pretty. Yeah. I should have brought some cool with topping. You should have, because I couldn't afford it. Because I one. have some left from last week. So I'm going to put that, if you'll open the Ooh, be careful. refrigerator. Actually, I'm going to let you put that in there. You want me to take it? Yeah. Okay, got it. Oh boy. And I'm okay, going to start on our next item. Does anybody, anybody come up with uh, what set and plastic on? I don't know. We're going to start on au gratin potatoes now. So I have two potatoes here and a mandolin. And a mandolin is used to slice the potatoes with so I can get them very thin because we want to bake. All right, so I'm going to use. My potato here. Oh, do you want to go over that. the? Why don't you go over the numbers for the pie? Uh, yes, chef. Um, see if I made it. Orange parfait pie. Press one dollar. Shout out again to Ollie. Fruit cocktail seventy five cents. Jello seventy cents. Ice cream fifty cents. For a grand total of. $2.95, and that is $0.37 cents per serving. Yay. Bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Well done. All right. I've done the first potato here. I'm going to let you do the second potato. Oh, I'm excited to use the mandolin. <laughs> All right. There you go. Um, make sure when you get down to the end that you use this, the protective mm -hmm. thing. Because no meat. I've, no meat in the au gratin no potatoes. potatoes. So I've um, floured a bowl here with butter and flour, or you can use pan. And I'm just going to spread the potatoes out along the bottom here. But this is fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we'll get these all here. And then I have one yellow onion here that I've sliced the same or sliced the same way that I did the Getting down there, potatoes. I'm use this You're good. So we're going to put the onions over the potatoes. Oh, I knew there we go. Oh, no, it fell off. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Don't look. I asked you if you had expertise in these instruments before we started. No, I don't. So it doesn't take a whole onion. Probably a quarter of an onion. Here. You have to pay for the whole thing, so I had to throw That's it in true. there. That's true. I love onion. Mm -hmm. I do too. So. Do you want and the I'm rest of this? I will in just a second. I might and have gotten a little bit. Oh, no, I hope not. All right. I'm going to salt and pepper this layer. Oh, it's layered. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Salt. And, and pepper. pepper! I have forgotten in the past to salt and pepper both layers. Makes a little bit yes. of a difference. All right. 
I'm going to let you stack the next okay. uh, potato on there and then salt and pepper that. And I'm going to start on the gratin part. Oh, the good right. part. So we're in the back here. I'm going to come around here, Chris. Yeah. Chris is extra busy. Yes. I've got three tablespoons of butter melted here. And I'm going to put in three tablespoons of flour. We're going to make a roux. Roux. R U E, I think. I thought it was R O U X. <laughs> it is R O U X. R U E is what? What is an R U E? A rue of the day. A rue is a street. Oh, that's right. And I can just pronounce it. I played rue and then you the Oh. That's just R O O. Have you got your potatoes no. in yet? Yeah. We got to keep moving here. Okay. All right. So we're just letting it. Go for about a minute to burn off that flour, flour taste. And we're going to pour in two cups of milk very slowly. Very slowly. We want all of that flour and butter to incorporate into the milk. All right. There we go. Let's stir that for a bit. And we're going to talk about another Broadway show. Oh, yes. Uh, I was talking to one of our longtime viewers. One of our longtime viewers. Longtime viewers, Nancy Waller Stew. And she suggested the show Gypsy. Oh. Because, you know, Mama Rose is always keeping her her group together and trying to feed them. There's a great song in the show called Have an Egg Roll, Mr. Goldstein. I don't have enough money for an egg roll. That would be the fifth entree. <laughs> I can't, can't do it. Make it. Can't do it. Can't but do it. one fun um, fact I came across when I was looking this up was all of the women who played Mama Rose and the first one, pretty famous, Ethel Merman. She's pretty famous, I would say. She's pretty famous. Ethel Merman and Angela Lansbury. She's pretty famous. Yeah. Tyne Daly, Bernadette Peters, Patty LaPone. Now, did they all win Tony Awards? Yes. No. Oh. So out of one, two, out of five, three of them. Three, just three. three. You know what was interesting was that a couple of them have played Annie Get Your Gun, too, which I thought was pretty good. So Angela Lance, uh, Ethel Merman, who originated the role, she didn't win a Tony. How can that be? I know. How can that possibly be? It didn't even win Best Show. And many really? people consider Gypsy one of the best shows oh, yeah, ever. She lost to Mary Martin. Mary Martin. And a show that went on to win Best Show. Oh, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Close. There's pirates in Peter Pan, and the show I'm thinking of, there's Nazis. Is that the German production of Peter yes. Pan? Yes, <laughs> yes. Sound of Music. So, oh, the hills are alive. Five. And then, of course, Ethel, uh, Angela Lansbury won the Tony. Yes. Tyne Daly won the Tony. Yes. Bernadette Peters. Not so much. Didn't win. Now, if anybody wants to shout out who Bernadette lost to in 2003, We'll put that out as a trivia question. A show that was really very fun, still very popular. Yes. And then Patty LaPone did it in 08, and she won the Tony. Hey, these all gratin potatoes are looking fantastic. Oh, oh you're working on your I'm working with my little girl over here. The milk's going to get thick in just a second. Ooh, that looks really good. Why don't we go ahead and start on the green beans while we're waiting? Okay. Uh, we're making. Uh, Blanche green beans. So what we're going to do with that, we've got two cup, I mean, uh, three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of oil in that pan getting warm. Okay. I'm going to saute some, um, actually you can work on sauteing the uh, uh, shallots. Ah, and we blanched last week, if you remember, we blanched the peach and you'll be doing the same technique with the with green, green beans, beans, which is really just quickly putting it in. The nice thing about blanching the green beans is that it allows them to get uh, really green 
really bright. Yeah. Yeah. Gives them that quick cook and then they taste so good. Yeah. So, um, we have not talked about our opener tonight. Oh, this is a show Kevin and I did. Yes. A year and a half? Uh, Two years? Yeah, a year and a half. Half? half when, when people were still doing theater. When we could sing. Yes. You're in town. We talked about you're in town. I've directed that. I've got to play Mama Strong. You music directed this. And what was the opening number? We had Run Freedom Run. Right. Which is such, I mean, I will say this. The opening of Act Two of Year in Town, I think, is as fine a 20 minutes of musical theater as there is. I would agree. You've got What Is Year in Town into Snuff That Girl into Run Freedom Run. Boom, boom, boom. It's just fantastic. All right, our milk has thickened up here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, can you see that? There we go. It's thickened up. Just we, we don't want it too thick because we're going to put in a cup and a half of cheddar cheese. Oh, up a little bit. I'll bring that over. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. And we're going to let that melt, and that's going to pour right over our au gratin potatoes. I'm going to put it down here. Can we turn my burner off? Yes. And we're all salt and peppered. Salt and pepper. <laughs> And this is ready to go. Oh, that looks creamy and cheesy. Creamy and cheesy, yes. Delicious. Look at that. Oh, uh, I can't believe you're doing all this for your. Well, you'll have to check and see. Might be a good time now to check on the uh, I'll rotten potato budget and see how I did with that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna let you finish pouring, so I do not risk. And I'm, you know what? I'm gonna set these shallots. I can take over the shallots now if you want me to. All right, and that goes in the oven at 400 degrees for an hour and a half. Cover it with foil. Okay. Um, oh, that looks good. Okay, all gratin potato time. Did anybody get the question about who beats Bernadette um, for actress for best, best actress in a musical in 2003? I'm going to throw out a hint. You can't stop the thing. Uh -huh. I don't know the words. Okay, that was your hint. It was not a good one. Uh, good good morning, Baltimore. Oh, very good. Hair spray. Hair spray. Oh, potatoes. Potatoes, a dollar fifteen. That's that's a lot of your budget. Yes, it was. Land, of course, land hair spray. Um, onion, thirty-five cents. Milk, really, thirty-seven cents. Yes, because you only use two cups. And if you buy it at Sam's, it's a lot cheaper. Okay. Cheese, a dollar ten. This is one of your more expensive ones. Yes, it was my bigger ticket. Almost three dollars. Odd round potatoes, two ninety-seven. And per serving, seventy-four cents. That's that's a bargain. Yes. That's a bargain. That's delicious. We've got the have you blanched yet? Not, Not yet. yet. Okay. We're moving on to meatloaf. We have to, again, we both said we mentioned it last week, but you know, Blanche, it always depends on the kindness of strangers. Okay. This is my sort of three ingredient meat. Okay. And it has a magic, uh, not magic, but a special ingredient. To okay, it. I hope it's not the meat. Yes. No, it's not the meat. Okay. Um, so I have a pound of ground beef here in this, and we're going to add the secret ingredient. And the secret ingredient is under the green. The green. Back uh, to green, napkin. like wicked. Right over there. Are we going to? It's right over there. Are going to unveil it? I thought I'd let you unveil it. <gasps> He What's teased us all last week about this. Ready? Done. Stuffing mix. Stuffing mix. Seventy-five cents at all these. Wow. I. You know, last week you kept saying, "Oh, I was like, you've got to have a binding ingredient." Uh, and this is our binding. That is your binding. We don't need an egg or anything. Because I'll show you what. This. <laughs> can you get this face? Yes. No egg. No milk. No egg. No milk. All right. So, uh, where do I see this going? I don't know, Kevin. Okay. I just don't know if I believe this is going to work out. All right. That goes in there. So, just one container. Yep. Throw that okay. in the garbage can. Yes, chef. And I'm going to need this. A muffin pan. Oh, 
And here's our third ingredient. All right, I'm gonna take a shot. Come back for the <laughs> third ingredient. One cup of water. And then now I'm just gonna throw this out. If you want it to splurge. We can't, we've got we can't I know. splurge. So let's say this is not the splurge. If you wanted to, yeah. Could you add milk instead of water? If you had the money. Okay. You could. I mean, you want that taste, milk at Sam's. Wait till you taste it. Which oh, you I, now I we have to stuffing. we have to mix this up. And the best way to mix up a meatloaf is with your hand. So why don't you go to it? Okay. <laughs> I just washed them again. So, okay. Yes. Go to it. And while you're doing that, reminds me of I'm going to blanch the green beans. So all I'm going to do is throw the green beans into a, in the boiling water for about a minute and a half to two minutes. That's all I'm going to do. So I'm back here doing that now. He's back there doing that now, and I am pushing up. Wow, this is so simple. I'm I am anxious to try this. Alexa, set timer for two minutes. Alexa was giving us some attitude mm, earlier. She was. So, she I, was. I hope she's straightened up. How are you doing there? I'm doing good. What about salt and pepper? Don't need it because it's all in the stuffing. Well, you could add salt and pepper. Well, we you could do a that. lot of things. You could I put, allow that. You could put an egg roll in there. <laughs> it would be like a little king baby. All right. You'd find an egg roll in your meatloaf. Why don't you wash your hands? Yes, and then I'll chef. give you your next task. Man, is he bossy? <laughs> I heard some comments last week that someone was a little, what was the word? Cocky. Oh. Well, we forgive you for that. <laughs> okay. Okay, wash, wash your hands. hands. There we go. And I'm going to start scooping this out. So I have a medium-sized um, meatball scoop. And we're going to scoop that into right into the... So you can... I need a double washing. Yeah. Oh, and you can use a hefty amount of that. You're going to have a little bit left over. So go ahead and be generous with your scoops. You It'll can make... You could make some extra and freeze them, couldn't you? You could. <laughs> That's probably what we'll do tonight. Yeah, but I mean, really, yeah. and then you pull those out and you can Absolutely. have lunch, a little uh, snack if on, you wanted. That'd be great. Yeah, for um, a family of four, you would get three apiece. And and really, one is enough. Speak for if, yourself. Well, all right, can you finish those? Yes, chef. Why don't you finish some of these back here and I can go ahead and, well, actually, I'm going to slide you over. I'm going to start on the top version. Just being a little pushy and cocky, huh? Well, that's all right. I, like I said, we forgive you. All right. So meatloaf is not meatloaf to me unless it has a little ketchup on the top. Absolutely. So I'm doing a sweetened ketchup on this. And I've got a third of a cup of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And I've got a half a cup of ketchup. I'm going to pour right in there. Mm. And then I've got one tablespoon of liquid smoke. You know what liquid smoke is? I do, and that's a great yeah. idea. Alexa, stop. I'm going to get my green beans. Oh, they've been blanching they in the blanched. water, right? We're going to see. Alexa, stop. See, I told you she was giving us attitude. We're going to see how nice and bright and green beans are when they come out of the blanching. They're so beautiful. I'm going to add a little more to a couple of these. You get a facial too. I know. You open those pores, baby. All when right, you there's our green beans. You can't Look. really see them because it's well, a, there, but they yeah. are bright, bright and green. vibrant. Yes. And so we're gonna throw these right into the shallots. With the butter. Uh -huh. And just let them warm up in there. Okay, this is looking good. I'm gonna salt and pepper these because salt and pepper is free. How are we doing on the meatloaf? I think this is just to show. There we go. Oh, which is. Oh, All right. Can you match goes... those down so they have a flat top? Oh, Please. my meatloafs? Yes. Yep. Well, then I could probably squeeze in a little more. Yeah, use all you can. Okay. I'm going to stir up our topping. My baby whisk. That's a cute baby. Whisks. And when you get those so done, you can stir the green beans. I know. Oh my gosh, what are it we might... making? Five things? Six well, things? Well, let's see if our budget allows. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to. I think that's good. Is that good? Fill this one up a little bit more. 
Yes, Chef. <laughs> I mean, yes, Chef. Just call me Gordon yes. Ramsay. Yes, Doctor. Whatever you say, Doctor. Okay. All right, get on those green beans yes. now. All right, so I'm going to take a spoonful, about a teaspoon or a little bit more, generous teaspoon of the ketchup. And I'm going to put it on the top of the meat there. These green beans Don't they? fabulous. Yeah. If you would allow a little bit more budget, you could put um, some almonds in it, slivered yes. almonds, mm, yes. which we might do after the show. <laughs> Once we've clocked in with her. I but... wish I bought my cool whip. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah, those look great. I'll get this out of your way. Why don't you get uh, the pie out? This is a pie that I made earlier today because I knew it wouldn't have time to set. And we'll start putting this thing together. It's by Oh, look at this. And I'm going to take... Look how little, pretty that is. That nice. oh. It's a colorful meal. It is a colorful meal, which I didn't think about. The, the orange, the beautiful green beans, the cheesy potatoes. You've got the red on here. It's, it is a beautiful palette of food. So once I get this all check painted it. in, this is going to go into the oven at 375 for about 35 minutes. And you notice I didn't put anything in the pan, in the muffin tin, like pan or anything. Yeah. Because I'm using 80, 20 ground beef and that will get a little fat. 20, 20 of fat. Yeah. So that would go in the oven. Can or, we do your numbers? Yeah, let's do the numbers and I'll start putting, once you do the numbers and I'll start pulling everything together. The meatloaf. Now I do want to say, finding a pound yes, of the, ground beef that's how we got the green Kevin beans in, folks. If you remember last week, I held up my little chicken thigh package amount that I spent. Kevin can't find that this week. I, that's all I'm saying. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh. These have been in the oven for an hour and a half. Put the aluminum foil on for an hour. Take the aluminum foil off for half an hour. You get the lice browning on the top. Beautiful. Look at those. They're bubbly and cheesy. Okay, the meatloaf. We already know the uh, potatoes came in under budget or on budget. Meatloaf, a dollar eighty nine for the pound of ground beef. Stuffing mix, seventy five cents. Total two sixty four. Sixty six cents per serving. That's amazing. Almost look delicious. I'm gonna move the dessert over just a okay. tad so I can get okay. my and fourth. <laughs> Did, four? I mention, did, did I mention, I mention that there are four? <laughs> I don't know. Green beans, 95 cents for the beans. Butter, 45 cents. Dollar 40, 35 cents per serving. Oh man, those look. That is a good, <laughs> healthy meal. It is. Your greens, dessert. We're ready for the total. <sighs> He's so nervous. Crossing my fingers. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna reveal it this way. Okay. Meatloaf two sixty four. I'll grab potatoes two ninety seven. Green beans a dollar forty. Orange parfait pie two ninety five oh, for that's, a total. That's a give lot. us, give us a drum roll. Nine ninety five. We made it. Two forty nine a person. That is amazing. And really, if you look at this, I think there's a lot more than you can serve more than four people. Oh my gosh! I mean, I would say like two meatloaves oh, per person. So this is yeah. a lot of, and they're yeah. rich. Yeah. Now I could eat most of those green beans myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Well, you have the green beans, and I'll take the oh, pie. <laughs> that's, I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. I'm gonna. Can I just reach? Yes. Out? Actually, why don't you taste the potatoes too? I'll give you a fork and a spoon, and you can taste mm. just a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I'll cut you a piece of pie while okay. you taste it. Mm. Remember, it's hot because we just pulled it out of the oven. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be very careful. Yeah. With the potatoes. Mmm. Oh, green beans are great. This is my mother's maybe, recipe for maybe the. Maybe a little more salt and pepper. Okay, well it's over there. Okay. <laughs> I ran out of money. <laughs> oh, we allow we allow all the salt and pepper. All that you want. I don't know if we put any salt and pepper. I did. Did you? <laughs> That's I... a story for another time when Barb and I 
work together on making the same thing. Did you add the pound of butter already? Well, yes, I did. I did add it. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Hmm. And you know, we were talking about people having spices last week. You could throw in a little garlic powder or onion powder, or, you know, whatever. Absolutely. Even a little pinch of cayenne if you want. And you don't have to use the uh, Look how shallots. That's set up. Look yeah. at that. That is beautiful. You don't have to use the shallots if you don't want to. Oh, I, I like it. Or if you can put the almonds in there, mm -hmm. which I think would be great. Okay, I'm going to, oh, okay. this is going to be hot, hot, hot. I'm going to cheat since I had what? Did I have four cents left? You did. Okay. I'm going to let that cool for a minute. That was going to. Yeah. I cheated last week. We had a little cool weather well, on you, the peach cobbler. You had some extra money, too. I had, I believe I had six cents. You had four cents. <gasps> I know I'm cheating. Fancy pants. I just had to have oh. this. If you, you, you put a little raisin or something, you could make a little face. <laughs> a little, it looked like a raisin. bunny. A little reindeer. A little bit funny. Can you all, I don't know if you all can see how pretty the Cool Whip and the little greenery. Okay, I'm, I'm letting you try this now. All right, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to get salt and pepper out of the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Here's some water if you need. Oh, that cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. It's not too cheesy. Yeah the right amount of cheese. I don't like it where it's like I don't eat it. coming out of your mouth and strings. This is just the perfect amount of cheese. Good, good. Should I try one of these? Try one of the meatloaves. Mm. These look beautiful. I can't wait to see what you think of the meatloaves because I had doubts about the meatloaf when I tried it. I was, here's what I'm worried about, meatloaf. It's okay. going to be dry. Okay. Because it's just water. Okay. Okay. Mm, it's not dry. <laughs> Mm -mm. Mm. Learn to trust me at some point. <laughs> mm. You can get the stuff. I get the stuffing in there. Yeah. But it gives it all the herbs and stuff that's already in there. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It's perfect. Yeah. It's delicious. It's so easy. Mm. So easy. And I love the smokiness of that ketchup mm -hmm. on the top, too. Mm -hmm. All right. You got one more thing. Oh. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to use this. Well, See what you think of that. I know you're not an orange girl, but put more cool with that. Mmm. Light, mm -hmm. refreshing. Mm -hmm. I love the fruit cocktail. Yeah. It gives you something to chew. Yeah. Because not all just sherbet. I was thinking also you could do that with strawberry jello and put strawberry. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of Now he's things. speaking my love yeah. language. You could do all kinds of stuff with that. Stra that strawberries pie. or banana. Throw some yeah. bananas in there. Oh, yeah. that's really good. And it's, you know, the cheesy thing. It's a little, not heavy, but right. it's got some bulk to it. The meatloaf. This is so light and refreshing. It's a great it's, end yeah, to this meal. I think so too. Mm. So You've done it. I did it. I did. We both did. You've done you it. did it last week, oh. and I did it this week. So it just takes a little thought to make mm -hmm. a ten dollar meal. I mean, who would have thought we'd have all this for ten dollars? But you have to put a little thought into you it. You do, and, and you like do you a little said, research. You buy the bulk things, uh -huh. and you you shop around, yeah, sure. and you maybe plan a week where you're going to buy yeah, exactly the milk. The hamburger, the yeah. onions, and put it all together. Yeah. Mm, so good. So we're going to take a three-week little hiatus, and we're going to come back after Labor Day, and we have an assignment for you. We would love for you to email us or put on the page somewhere things that you would like to see us do in the future, because we're going to start uh, building our shows for the fall. So let us know if there are some Broadway musicals that you'd like to see included in our yes, show. Yes, we'd or love to hear if that. If there's some some actually this ten dollar meal was an idea from somebody in our audience so if you have ideas for us we'd love to hear them too and we'll just keep cooking along we'll keep doing and you know the fall um uh, i mean september's not going to be cool but right. eventually it will start cooling off and then mm -hmm. you know i know we've done some soups but yeah. i love there are lots of soups. maybe we'll do a stews or, or a little take on that so send us your ideas Yep. And, and let us know what you want to see. And thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah. Congrats for thank doing you. four <laughs> things for under $10. Four. Oh, one, two, well, three. You, you did four. Oh, you just did three. Oh, well. You're gonna, I'm going to miss him for three weeks. <laughs> I really am. We'll see you all after Labor Day. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.